Valley News Live, 10 at 10, continues with No Wait Weather. Well, a few weeks ago, we were asking for any kind of rainfall, and now all of a sudden... Turn it off, maybe? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we found ourselves in the storm track, really, yeah. and as we head into the next couple of days, unsettled weather is going to be there, and heavy rain likely for some areas. Let's get right to it. First and foremost this evening, conditions quiet. The wind very light. The clouds have built in as well. In fact, they were getting pretty dark there as we headed into the 8 to 9 o'clock hour. 51 degrees and again, light winds from the east. Here's a look across the region. Valley City 46, Langdon at that same reading. It's 52 for you in Fergus Falls and Wadena at 45 degrees this hour, 41 in Bemidji. A band of clouds now pushing all the way up to the north and east. This is flowing fairly quickly in some strong upper level winds right now. And here we have some rain showers making the way all the way from Foster and Eddy County right down through Barnes County and just now pushing into southern parts of Cass County. We're seeing a little bit of green on the screen out here in parts of Minnesota along the I-94 corner. Not all of this rain reaching the ground, but don't be surprised if some sprinkles are moving into western portions of Otter Tail County as well as southern clay. And oh, by the way, Breckenridge seeing some light showers just off to the north. Now, this isn't too far from Fargo Moorhead. As we take a look at these yellows here, this is where that rain is likely beginning to reach the ground in earnest. Alice, Tower City, it's moving into your area. Fingal and Valley City also likely getting wet. As we look, this uh, so, uh, rain shower activity pushes all the way back up into Wells County, not far from Harvey, and it continues back out to the west. Here's a look at the big picture, though. We have this little batch of rain to contend with. Uh, no snow, though, in the forecast as we're looking things over tonight. Things are all remaining rain, and a big storm system that's slow moving out to the west promises this unsettled pattern. A few hitches in the giddy up, I like to say, over the next few days. Tonight, showers press slowly to the north. Many of us will get rain, but notice that by and large, most of the uh, persistent rainfall takes place north of the FM area. So we start our day, temperatures generally in the 40s, a couple of 30s out to the far east. Otherwise, we'll have east winds at around 15 to 20 miles per hour, and you better bring the umbrella as you're heading out the door to school or work. Now, as we go through the mid-morning hours, we may get a little bit of a reprieve, but we're right back into a chance of showers at moderate to heavy at times as we go through the early morning to mid-morning hours. Hopefully by the lunch hour, most of this will be pushing north of the FM area, but you better keep that umbrella handy, and we could have a rumble of thunder with that as well. This is a warm front. Notice temperatures up north in the 40s for the better part of the midday. We're warming up, though, down to the south. Shooting on up into the 70s for places like Sisseton, maybe as far north as Lisbon as well. Getting close to Fargo with temperatures in the mid and upper 60s. The rain pushes into northern Minnesota for the afternoon, but look at this. Another round setting up. Wednesday night and into Thursday, so some wet weather continues, and generally we'll see anywhere from around a tenth of an inch to an inch of rain as we go through your day tomorrow, and then more rain for Thursday. All right, steadily falling temperatures, but slowly down in the 40s, overnight sprinkles, and then tomorrow, passing showers and thunder showers mainly before noon or in the early afternoon, then quieting down late and temperatures rising into the mid and upper 60s for Fargo and all of our southern counties where you see the yellow and orange colors. Up to the north, we have temperatures that will be cooler and a better chance of those prolonged showers throughout the day. Then Thursday, another band of showers and thunder showers makes its way through. Does look like the best chance for accumulating precipitation to the west and north, making the birds happy, getting plenty of baths like these here near Lake Brunson. Thanks, Kathy, for sharing that. Wet the next couple of days. We have temperatures that'll be in the 60s as a result. And after that, a break on Friday. It does look like on Saturday and Sunday we do warm up, but our chances of strong thunderstorms appear to be on the rise. We'll keep our eyes on that threat as we go into the weekend. It's a sign of spring shifting into summer. Eventually. It is. A good rumble of thunder sounds fun, but we'll got to yeah, keep our eyes open this absolutely. time of year. Thanks, Hutch. Mm -hmm. Well, are you on the Mediterranean diet? We'll tell you what products you can add to help improve your memory. And close to half of Americans, close to half of Americans are carrying the virus for cold sores. Find out how you could be one of them.